met Rockefeller through a female attorney I knew who called me up one day and said, uh, one of the Rockefellers would like to meet you. I made a video called Mad as Hell. And uh, he'd seen the video and wanted to meet me. And knew I was running for governor of Nevada. But he was a very, very smart man. And uh, we used to talk and share ideas and thoughts. And uh, he's the one who told me uh, 11 months before 9-11 ever happened that there was going to be an event. And out of that event, uh, we were going to invade Afghanistan to run uh, pipelines from the Caspian Sea. We were going to invade Iraq, you know, to take over the oil fields, establish a base in the Middle East, and make it all part of the New World Order. And we'd go after Chavez in Venezuela. And uh, sure enough, later 9-11 happened. series of deliberate and deadly terrorist acts. The victims were in airplanes or in their offices, secretaries, businessmen and women, military and federal workers, moms and dads. soldiers looking in caves and people in, in, uh, in Afghanistan and Pakistan and all these places and it's and there's gonna be this war on terror uh, which is no real enemy and the whole thing is a giant hoax you know but it's a way for the government to take over the American people he told you it was gonna be a hoax oh yeah oh yeah there's no question And you don't have to be a conspiracy theorist to wonder exactly what President George W. Bush knew about the attack and when he knew it. According to the official White House version, it was at this moment in a Florida classroom that Bush learned the second plane had hit the World Trade Center and that the U.S. was under attack. But here's what George Bush himself said almost three months later when asked about September 11th. I had, was sitting outside uh, the, the the classroom waiting to go in, and I saw an airplane hit the tower of a of a T. You know, the TV was obviously on, and I I used to fly myself, and I said, well, there's one terrible pilot, and uh, I said it must have been a horrible accident. But I was whisked off there, and didn't have much time to think about it. Now wait a minute, George Bush was told about the second plane while he was inside the classroom, so you just heard him describe seeing the first plane crash on television that day. But that's impossible. No one saw the first plane crash on TV on September the 11th because the videotape of it didn't surface until the next day.
What's at stake is more than one small country. It is a big idea, a new world order. The people who are trying to make this world worse are not taking a day off. Let us never tolerate outrageous conspiracy theories concerning the attacks of September the 11th. Malicious lies that attempt to shift the blame away from the terrorists themselves, away from the guilty. Conspiracy theories, conspiracy theories, conspiracy theories, conspiracy theories.